Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Me mommy ma Oh logo Jula Me ma Gogo Aye Kung Fu Ogo Re Me ma Me ma Me ma Me ma Me ma Oh logo Jula Me ma Gogo Aye our father and our lord we thank you for the privilege you have given unto us to be in your presence this morning we worship you because from ages past you have been our god Till now, you are still our God, and forevermore you will still remain God. Forever you will be God. We worship you because we are in the presence of that God that is able to, 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 to take care of our life, to, to, to take care of, of our spirit, soul, and body till we get to heaven. Because we are in the presence of God that is able to bless us with all spiritual benefits. You are you are able to bless us with everything that our life needs. Especially because you are the God of covenants. Thank you because of your covenant that you have established in your ministry. And in the life of individuals of us. Father, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. We pray this morning. As we go to hear your word. That your blessings. That is in your covenant. Will be our portion before we leave, leave this place today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Shall we please be seated? As I'm welcoming us to Glorious Assembly Ministry International. Uh, we bless God for your life as you are joining us on the internet. And to those of us that are seated here this morning, I I celebrate God in your life. Ah, uh, this morning by the special grace of God. God wants us to consider the, uh, a topic. And that's God's blessedness. God is a God of blessing. And he has perfected his blessing and he, 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 he inculcated it into his covenant. This month of July is a covenanted month in the nation. And uh, God deliberately ordained it so that he can bless us. So today we want to know what the blessing of God really means. Open with me to the book of Luke chapter 1. Verse 20, uh, 68. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And he hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Ah, uh, 
Omodore. God is a God of blessings. And the, the Bible says he visits his people with salvation. He makes sure that he, all the words of prophecy that he has spoken about the children of Israel, he brings it to pass. In a nutshell, what we call blessing in this concept are the desires of God for his people. And he used to bring it to pass through his prophecy. Through his covenant. So whatever God has proposed to do in your life. Whatever prophecy the Lord has released concerning your life. Those are the blessings that God has in stock for you. So the Bible says, Bless be the name of the Lord of Israel. For he has, he has visited his people and redeemed his people. Bibeli wani olu bukuni olu wa alon Israeli ni turio ti boju wo ti osi ti dawa amwe ni yare ni dey. And whenever he visits his people, he brings his own blessedness into them. Ni ba kuba tu ba wa bi amwe ni yare wo o ma mo tang pe ni bukun ti arare to wa. He brings his blessings to them. This blessing is not limited to what they can do on their home. Or what they can achieve by themselves. But what is in the ability of God to give unto them? From the beginning of human race. God has his purpose for us. And so whenever he wants to release that purpose into our life, he releases through what we call blessings. But also this month in this ministry is an example of the month of God's blessedness. The he prophetically blesses our life. The he covenantedly, if I can may use that English, blesses our life. So I want you to really understand what God has in stock for us. So that we may be able to enjoy it to the fullest. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 Genesis Okay, let me start from verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Jekin be lati ese iketa di ni ogba. Be ni Olorun da eniyan ni awuran re. Ni awuran Olorun ni o da ati yako ati abu ni o da won. Now verse 28 now talks about the desire of God. It does say and God blessed them. God blessed them. So now, what are the blessings of God? And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the heart, and subdue it. Then, and have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air, and over every creep, every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Kiwa ni nchi alonzo, alonzi we fumwa be ema abisi kiesi mare kiesi bile kiesi she kaware kiesi ma joba lori eja ukun ati lori eje uju anu ati lori onwa la yegogo tinra koro ni lori le. So these are the things we call the blessings of God. So I want us to see it in this perspective today, as God told me. The God blessed human race. 
These are the things he pronounced into our life. I want to get the sinuaye wari. That really interpret what blessings mean. To ye ko tu mo unta ngpe ni bukundi olorun. God bless them and said unto them. Oni olorun suri fun won o si so fun won. God said unto them. Olorun si wi fun won pe e ma bi si and multiply. Ki e si ma re. Be fruitful. Emma BC and multiply. Yes, Emare. Then he now said, "Who are we And replenish the hearts. Yes, Bile. And subdue it. Yes, shake a war. And have dominion. Yes, Ma Joba. Over the fish of and so on and so forth. These are the concept of blessings. Sherry, I want to want to need two more bukure. That we are going to. Exemplify today that we are going to study deeply into today. The bless God's blessedness. This blessedness is the combination of the to, the mindset of God that we call blessings for people. That when you get to that, uh, that, that when you you will be able to enjoy the fullest when you get that state. If I give part of what I have unto you, so you to go and enjoy. Uh, it's a blessing from me. When I set up a standard for you, now, when, when you get to this standard, this and this and this will be coming to you freely. You just have access to them. So that is the difference between blessing and blessedness. Thank you so much. So, you will become blessed when you get to the standard of what God calls blessing for his own people. That's so, when they call you blessed. So, you are not just going to be having God blessing as a peanut. Oh, when you are going to be a Then, Again, before we move on, ah, back on now, Genesis, Genesis chapter five. We Genesis only carry verse five. Say carry. And all the days of, that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty and thirty years, and he died. Bubu ojoti Adam usi wa si je e degbe unodu ole ogbon osi ku. There are there are some stories be, between the first place we read. And this last place we have just read. And when it comes, what? Ni ibito bere oroyi oto ya dipe ade bitaka. The the life of Adam is not supposed to end. Aye, Adam ko yeko dokme. The blessedness that God gave unto them on that first day that He created them is an everlasting blessedness. Ibuko into lo vi fu wo lo do akoko into man wa titi lai ni ko lo kwenye nu. But because the man, human race lost their position, the position of blessedness. Then Adam lived and died. But because the original blessedness of God is to live and live on. That is, as you are living now, you will be living to live. You will be living to remain living. That is the hope of his blessedness. That is the hope of his of his blessing he, that he, he he but unfortunately Adam and thank God thank God for Jesus Christ thank God for God because God has remembered his people 
And he has redeemed them. So he is redeeming us into that original blessedness. That he wants us to enjoy in him. Now that is why he sent Jesus to the world. And that is why anybody that accepts Jesus as his Lord and Savior today and is delivered from his sin that is delivered from flimsy things that is delivered from the useless things of this world that is delivered from Satan and his agents yes once he has been delivered and accept Jesus as his savior under the covenant that person will now have access to that standard of God's blessing that is why today God wants us to go back to the origin and look at what he really called his blessing a blessing that makes you to live and keep on living into anything that God created especially as a specimen, we are using man today. There is always a seed of life. And that is what we call God's blessing. The day he blessed man, the authority, there was an authority that came upon man. And that is the authority of blessing. If you see a grain of corn that you, we used to plant, there is something inside it. In a language here, we used to call it Iye. In uh, Yoruba language, it's called the life of the seed. That is the thing that used to germinate inside it. If you see a corn, a grain of corn, that doesn't have that life in it, it's just living to die. Very soon it will die. If, if you plant it, it will decay. The life is in it. You will see the embodiment of God's blessing. Coming up in the form of blades. It will be growing up. And before you know it, the old the, 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 that plant will bring something Big out. You will not be a whole corn. Our the ODD. Not just not just ordinary. No, it will become a whole thing. That is the ability of the blessing that God in, the introduced into man on the first day. So God wants you to live today. And still be living on. Any man on heart that grow to the level of this blessedness, they don't die again. If you grow to this level, you cannot die again. That life has been stolen before. And that was why Adam died. The Bible says because one man sinned, all of us became but uh, thank God we have another Adam. Adam. Second Adam. Adam That's our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one that introduces this life back to us. So anybody who will now get this life in him, they are living to live again. But whosoever did not have this life in there, they are living to one day they are yellow to kuni. Some there, there are so many people in the Bible we read about. Oh like boy, ni yalo wa nubibeli ta kani ba wa. One day they are yeah, and you do buy osiku. And you live this. Oh boy, you do buy 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 osiku. Jesus lived and lives. Jesus, wala ye. 
Jesus lived and lives. So if you accept Jesus Christ today, you will be to live. So let's talk about the blessing of God now. That comes with that pronouncement of that day. So that we will know what God is really releasing to our life. Genesis chapter 1 that we read the other time verse 28. The Bible says, and he blessed them, God blessed them, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. This is how you will know somebody that the seed of that trait of life is, is still inside he, him or her. That the life is still there. That life is the blessing of God. If it is still there, you will have the ability to multiply. To be fruitful. Yes. You will be fruitful and you will be able to multiply. Please don't misquote this weird place. Though initially, the, the, the original, I mean, the initial concept is that they will be procuring children and they will be spreading over the face of the heart. But the blessing of God supersedes that. If you are here today and you are looking to the face of God for the fruit of the womb, the Lord is going to do your home. Amen. To ba wa ni bi ilo ni to woju Olorun fun isonu Oluwa o se ti e na because that is what we know that people used to know as blessing in this world nitori ohun akoko ta won yan mo gege bi ibukun laye yi ni that he, he, he gave birth but the blessedness of god is more than that sugbon ibukun ti olorun ko ja ile yi god said you will be able to be fruitful and then you will multiply that is to say, you will be able to propagate what God's blessing really means. The first trait of God's blessing is the ability to propagate God's life in you. That life that is in you. You know when they plant the corn? Once it starts growing, it will be showing forth the glory of God in leafy stems. At some level, it will not bring out a whole cup of maize. Okay, I, I say, because, because of our time, who, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all that with one purpose of art they would cleave unto the Lord. He was encouraging them to cleave unto the Lord. And it is not that you did to see re or your fellow room. Oh, yo, oh, see, bad bobo, one year, really, oh, see, come for a mimima at if we bad boy in your pupa near see, cacoon, oh, lua. Then departed Barnabas to sat. To Tatus, Tatus, to seek Saul. Banaba si jade laws si Tatsu lati wa Saulu. That was where Saul came from. Ibiti Saulu tiwari. From where? Lati bo. When he had found him, he brought Saul unto where he was preaching before, unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were, and the disciples were called Christian first in Antioch. Nibati, Osiri, Omu, Omuasi, Bitomu, Timwa, Sutele, Omuasi, Antioku, Osiche, Fu, Fu, Odukan, Bako, Niwafi, Ba, Ijok, Bajoko, Timwasin, Timwasin, call in your people, Ni Antioku, Ni Asik, 
koko pe awon omo yi ni christiani please look up to me this is this the life of blessedness igbe aye eni ibukun re somebody that when they are in a place awon to ye pe nigba to ba wa nibi kan people begin to see god there awon eni ya bere si ni ri olorun ni bi to wa where is antioch ni bo ni antioch is the land of pagan o je ile awon awon to awon keferi when he created man we saw the trait of that life in them ari ani mo iye yi ninu aye ti won we are the so we supposed to call it the mortuary of people ah ibi to ye ka pe ni ibi isiku awon eniyan re when they don't know god ibi ti won o te ma olorun rara in the present day now ni aye sisin yi o this antioch is in turkey ah antioch yi turkey ni o wa this is where Paul and Barnabas worked for God. Ibiti Paul wa ti Barnabas di sise foluwa re o. And people gave their life to Jesus Christ. Ta won eyan wa fi aye won fun Jesus. I just pray God will refuse this na- that nation. Ah mo ko gbadura pe Olorun yo tun be orilede yi wo. Because now the it is Muslim dominated country. Nitori pe listen yin awon Muslim lo po ju nbe. But this was the place where they look at the disciples. Shubo ibiti akoko wo awon omo eyin re among the unbelievers lani awon ala igbagbo and they saw that life inside them won de ri yeyen ninu won this thing is not common to be pe ah nkan yin o wo po it's not within people around us nkan yi ko nse on ti o wo po ni awon eniyan to wa nbi yi the blessing of god ah ibukun olorun lele igbudo je ordinary man can have this ah ko si eniyan lasan to le ni ru eleyi o the christ a christian then they they call them christian o lo fi pe won ni christian it was the unbeliever that called them christian awon ala igbagbo lo pe won ni christian gan so if you are waiting for me to see you that you are now serious for god to ba wa re ti pe ki ri o gege bi en to ti se ton folorun i may not be able to see that mo le ma le ri o but what we prove that you are a christian o ti o fi han pe christian wa ni o is when you carry that life in you into the midst of the unbeliever o ni nigba to ba de iye to wa nu ren de are awon ala igbagbo and the unbeliever becomes believe through you ti awon ala igbagbo wa di o ni igbagbo ni pase re they became blessing to the people of antioch won wa di ibukun fun awon to wa ni antioch and they call them christian as it be won ni christian that seed was found in the love of abraham bakana ni ati ri irugbi yi ninu aye abraham god deliberately said it by himself olohun ti kara re lo te so that abraham is blessed pe alabugun fun ni abraham why kini ere di o in the book of genesis chapter 18 ni duro yi ninu we genesis ori keji ti ni ogun please don't be tired of opening your bible ah ejo e ma je osu wa lati ma si bibeli genesis 18 iwe genesis ori keji ti ni ogun genesis 18 iwe genesis ori keji ti ni ogun first 19 ese ikan kan di logun bible says bibeli wi pe for i know him ni tori pe mo mo un i know that's abraham abraham lo so ni ba re o mo mo this life is inside him pe iye yi nbe ninu re his own seed is not lifeless iye ti iye ti e o wa irugbin ti e o ni iye ninu is that which have life irugbin ti e e to ni iye ni if i plant abraham into canada ti ba gbe abraham si orilede canada he will germinate there yo wu ja de ni be the life is in him nitori pe iye nbe ninu re so blessed that there's no where he can get to o ti alabukun to be to pe ko si bi to lede so you will not see the, the seed of abraham ti e ni ri iru omo abraham ni be i know him bo mo i know him bo mo that he will command his children pe yo pa se fun awon omo re in another version of the bible they say he will teach and command his children ni awon atuka le ede bibeli mi ran won ni yo ko awon omo re yo si pa se fun won and is also after him ati ati ara le re leyin re that and they shall keep the way of the lord to do justice and judgment that the lord may bring upon abraham that which he has spoken of him ki won ki o ma pa ona oluwa mo lati se ododo ati idajo ki oluwa ki o le ma mu ohun ti o ti so fun abraham wa fun because if we attain that level of blessedness so you de agbe ka ibukun ta nso yi ni how will he attain it bo ni o ti de be we have the ability to teach his people to become people of god you ni ani mo lati ko awon ara ale re lati di eniyan olorun the life in him 
can grow anywhere. Even if you send him to UK, he will grow there. If you send him to America, he will grow there. And if you send him to Amuloko, he will, he will grow there. That seed will be lively seed. If that seed will be lively seed. Even if he go to campus, if he's in university, he will grow there. What am I saying in that sense? If you are at the point in time in your life, and then you have been hearing someone like this, you have messages like this. But it has some levels that when you get to some, some places in life, they will not see the life in you again. Maybe you get to school. Or you get to the office. Or even your matrimonial home. Oh. Or oh, you get to the office. Or 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 you get to the Something in you is not breaking against it. Bring your wife back to God. We are to question the blessedness in you. What we call blessing is your ability to bring people back uh, to, to bring people to the light of God. If you are living to live. People will see the profile of God in you. You will impact people. And your impact will now bring them to see God. Then the people will see you. And through you, they will come to Christ. Another one. The trait of blessedness. That is what we call restoration. In the life of anybody that is blessed by God, you will, you will see them being restored by God. You may be looking at his life or her life. Uh, and this person has attended the church before. And he has been among the choir before. But is the authority of that blessedness. You just see the sudden change. And he had a father, but Sipo. And that person will be restored. That's the sign. That kind of blessing cannot be achieved by money. And no earthly position can achieve that. Knowing somebody abroad cannot give you that. Having somebody in the government of this world cannot achieve that. It's only that authority, the initial authority of God's blessing that draws bless it. And he said unto them, Be you fruitful and multiply. Yes, Mary. Now, the second stage is now, now say, and replenish the hearts. Now, let me explain this one to you. So, anybody that has this the life of God in him. Ah. We have this ability of God. That we call the replenishing ability. That is the anointing that Jesus brings to this world. That the whole blessedness of God that we are talking about now is in Jesus. The first one I mentioned the other time, the propagation. You can see Jesus Christ came to propagate what God is. And what we have lost in the, in At, the, in the beginning, he brought hope for it for us. Now, he brings us to God. 
Anybody who now have this life in them also. And again, it's about any ye. You need to walk Do what Jesus is doing. And that is why even if they live in this world, they will not die again. It is the one need to be on. But what be in why ye? Oh, Nikuma. Myself and you, we attain that blessedness in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to me how they are becoming more and more like Jesus. Now I'm talking about the second trait. Ah, most of the people are not like Jesus. That is replenishing the heart. Any bread, you know, I eat. Eleka, Eleka, let's see Genesis. Genesis chapter one. Only Kesi, Kesi Mare, Kesi Mare. Can Reni Ben Yeri take his life? Ah, let me explain that. Ah, replenishing the heart. Replenishing means that bringing something. Back to his original state. Otumos we be mumu kong padabosi ayere ikoto wagaga. That is replenishing. Iyeni mumu padabosi ko. Before you can achieve it, shibo koto le de agbe karire i. There's another thing that followed replenish. Ah, ngaka wa tote le rire. What the Bible say about it? Kini inti Genesis. What are we reading? Genesis what? Genesis yori kelo langka. Yori kini esa ikejidi ni yaba. Replenish and what subdue it? Okay, only KSC Bille replenish it and subdue it. KSC Mashi Kawari. This one also go together. Teddy, big Bille, you look up. That is what we call restoration. Yawani, Imukada Bosipo. The first one is a coconut, fruitful and multiply. Only BBC KSC Mari. That is what we call. Propagation. No, now replenishing and subduing. Ah, is what we call restoration. Now, that is God's blessing. Not until when you get to that level, you will just be experiencing the blessing of God as a peanut. Now, listen to me now. Oh, e me by you. For you to replenish something. Ki otole mu kan pada bosipo. When something is losing its value. You be in kan so yire nu. Or losing its original taste. Sabi e adun re e saju. Whatever you do to bring that thing back to the original state. O nko o to ba wa se lati ri daju pe in kan pada bosipo to wa gangan. Is your ability to replenish. O ni anemo lati mu pada bosipo to ni. Now you now you cannot do that. You will be able to subdue some things. To, to subdue those things that are that are responsible to the to the value that that thing is losing. Very good. So if you now see somebody who have the life of this blessedness in this life, and you see people around them. They are the best people, that, that type of people that have the potential to bring hope for the hopeless. You know, when God created the heaven and the heart, the Bible said that the heart was void and shapeless. Then God introduced something. Let there be light. That light was the anointing of replenishing. That allowed the heart to regain its strength. So, bringing hope for the hopeless heart is the mission of Jesus Christ. So, when Jesus came to this world, the light that had been void and Dark. Shapeless. Jesus brought light into it. And give new hope for the heart. So that was how I received that hope. I was so terrible. I was so terrible. We are not even born in the land of Israel. We are not part of the commonwealth of Israel. But when Jesus came, Jesus said, Joy to, the Bible says, Joy to the world. For the Lord comes. Because he, he, 
His mission is to bring us to the original idea of God in the Garden of Eden. Nitori on to dia foju sun re ni wipe o fe mu wa pada bo si ero n gba Olorun ni ogba Eden yen gangan. That is a blessing that nobody nobody can use money to buy. Ibu kun ti eni ke ni o le fowo ra re. Money cannot give you. Ti owo o le fun o. The blessedness of God. Ibu kun gige agbe kai ibu kun Olorun the blessedness of god the day agbe kai bukun ti olorun power to restore us back to the original state agbara lately mu wa pada bo si fo see anybody that have received this thing eni ken to ba ti ri un kan yi gba mu i got us restored yen ti olorun ti da pada bo si fo there used to be this life inside of them seri iye yi ma mu wa ninu won if you check and it is not there te ba fi wo to ba si nbe we are in the month of blessing o shu bukun la wa yi ask for it be re fo Test for it. It is God that used to give it unto people. How will you know it is in you? People that are hopeless around you. I want you near it. Like you can. Your life will begin to give them hope. Are you ready? You are my phone near it. They will see how bad you used to be. Why are you here? They will now see the transformation in your life. Why are you here? Are you tired? Then they will look at you. What if your life can be okay like this? If you can fear God like this, you used to be a notorious person before. But now you are a man of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Even if you don't have a job, you are a child of God. Of giving their life to Jesus. Wani re ti be on fire on fun Jesus kan yin re ni ti be jade. Wa mu yin re ti wa fa awon alaimi re ti. Wa fa awon alaimi re ti. The testimony of your salvation. Nim da ti eri igbala re. Brings hope for the people that they can also be good. To mu yin re ti wa fa awon eyan pe awon na si le da. The way you handle your husband. Owo to fi mu oko re. They know your husband before. Wo mo ko re tele. With your prayer and perseverance sugba pelu adura re ati iduro sisin you did not cross to the other side oh de ko ja lo so di keji nti e start fighting your husband oh bere si ni boko re ja and they see how you overcame won le ri bo se wa papa ni segu the husband is now coming to church won wa ri pe iwo na oko re tin tele e wa si le jo sin husband is now responsible oko re wa ti di en to moju se re your life will bring up to them aye re yo wa mu re ti wa fun won people will begin to see the original test of blessing awon eyan wa bere si ni ani mo ta pe ni agbe ka ibukun olorun de ah ibukun gan re then they will have hope won won ni re ti that is the blessedness of god iyen yi ni ibukun ti olorun when your presence in a place nigba ti wiwa re ni bikan becomes revival to ba mu isojiwa when it becomes revival to ba mu isojiwa people that have backstated our idea awon to ti pe yin da wa nbe tele and they they were doing do be us they did not they did not it, it one one say, one say, people are collecting bribe it doesn't affect them and when you go away you can maybe this one is also when you are saying you are in the church ah, ah, like, lele, you, know, say. you may not even be a pastor you may not even be a, an elder you may be a, a, just a brother in the or church or just a convert of yesterday just a sister in the church when you get there you say no no no, no. that is not the will of God if you challenge them the next time you are coming they were they wanted to do what they are doing. What fetch you on Tuesday? Because you are coming. She buy nobody. What did you do more? The packets. What did you buy them more? She's coming. Ah, what you more? When you begin to be to bring sanctity into a place like that. Nibla to buy meto wasi rube. When things used to be in opera before. Nibla ti idaruda kwa wani bikantele. You get there and everything set to. She buy nibla ti wode le toba dede. You are the one that are you are replenishing the heart. You are the one that are 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 you are the one
calorie you subdue it wa the the, the kankawon want to raise up their hair to make the land to lose its value but you will not allow them you till the ground you replenish the earth so that the earth will not lose its face we are blessed to replenish Christianity. Lati mui mukada bossi ko deke imply Christiani. You have received this message. Oti ba wa asu yo. So you bring Christianity and the Church of God back to the oh, original the states. Oba mui jolo pada bossi hiko telo ungesi. Not until when you get to that level. Afiga to ba di abeka ele yi. The blessedness that we are talking about is not yet to you. Ibu kote yi koti fara ane nu reo. Not until when you get to that level. Afiga to ba di abeka yi. When your testimony. Nibda ti eri re. And your commitment. Ati farajire. Bring back the glory to God. Toba mu go pada bofolorun. Our pastor was giving us a testimony. Ah, you know, shalom wa onfani eri kan. Our pastor Adeleke. Ah, Olushaga Adeleke. When he wanted to acquire a land, peni batu onfani raile. The seller said, "En ton tale wipe." The pastors he used to know. That he has known before. And he has registered that thing in his mind. So he doesn't want to sell it to the pastor. But if he said to them, they will say they will do this and they will not do it. So that's one you it pays me somehow. But in his own case, the man came after the house was completed. The man came. He said, you have proved me wrong. About my, uh, my concept about the pastors. When you say something, and you stand by it, and people used to know that people Used, uh, they, they used to fail that thing before. So children of God, they call themselves children of When it comes to your turn, they look at you. Ah, ah, this one is different. Now, as they were still saying, ah, this one is different. You know, say, ah, I'm not the only one who. Be this is how Christians are. I like my boy. Look, when Christian is it is all believers that actually first call them Christians. When Christian is he said these are Christians. When you get to that level, then is when we call you blessed. When you get to that level. That blessing that God gave man is now manifesting in your life. Is the one manifesting. Is the one manifesting. If you have not become man, that through you people are now being restored. That they are now coming back to their original position before God. Then you are blessed. Ah, let me say that again. I've said about returning the glory back to the church, rightful position. But there are certain people that surround you. They surround me. They've lost hope over their own life. They're hopeless. The ministry God has committed into them, they don't have hope that you will see the limelight again. You see, before I can stand before you to preach, God used certain people for me to believe in what God has done in me, in myself. To have the hope that I can still become somebody, that I have a ministry. And it's common like that among us. That even the person does not even see herself. The purpose why God has created the person is not seeing it because of his current situation. Those that we call the blessed, they are the ones that see such people and restore them. 
they replenished them and what did not allow their life to be in the right position they will control it they will dominate it they will have rule over it they will they will now bring those people. You will now begin to say, <laughs> hey, so you now begin to say, so this person can even sing. So, so this person can preach like this. That is the original purpose of God for such life. That was the blessing that God gave unto Adam. At, a, at any given time, make sure you replenish the heart. And subdue it. You should be the one to subdue it. Don't let the uh, cares of the world to take the ministry of those that surround you. Some people did not know that they have ministry. You know, let me tell you about uh, it. Because of their little hero, they drop everything. I want to my you. It is those that are blessed of the Lord. They are the one that will now go and trace them where they are. Yeah, you can't die in this position. God still has hope. They are not the one that will now walk upon them. Do you now see that? Uh, let me use this. this you just see the glory we burst forth. So, and you know, see, so this life can even be fruitful. So this water can have different animals in it. So this person's life can bring forth something good. If you are a help to people to bring out such glory, that means you are blessed. That means you are gotten to that level. If you have not gotten to that level, if the little that is even in the person beside you, you are looking for how you shut the person off. Uh, some people say, ah, no, me, I don't do such. But how are you not doing that? When the little error you see in the person's life, you won't have that hope that that person can still can still rise. It's the type that backbites People about other that Christians. Instead of encouraging. Instead of going on their knees and interceding for the fallen. Of recent, it's not so prevalent. You see people talking about pastors on the internet. Uh, that has warned you. Baba wa no luwa city kilo fun o Never join them o Ma dara mo ma gbe so pe un yewo Your mission and ministry is to replenish the heart O nti eran se ti agbe le olowo oni lati mu aye poda bo sipo Not to go and kill it O nse lati ma pa Not to go and destroy it O nse lati ma pa run And the Lord will help you Oluwa yi si ran olowo Our time is fast spent Akoko wa ti lo gan Our time is fast spent wa ti lo gan And I want us to pray Mo de fe ke agbadua I want us to pray this thing, this blessing to our life. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3 and 4. When you become a motivator for the, for the ministry and fission, then you are blessed. Isaiah chapter 35. Verse 3 and 4. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance and even God with recompense. Esi mamu e kun a lera lokun mhm ese ikeni e so fun awon alai lai apeye e tujuka e ma beru wo olorun yin o wa ti ohun ti esan olorun ti ohun ti igbesan ohun o wa yo si gba yin amen amen that is when you encourage people yin gba to ba ru awon eniyan soke the feebleness awon e ko alai lera you help them o ro won lowo that was how God used our daddy in the Lord to help us to That was when he, how God used him 
when I lost hope in myself to bring me up. Bi Olorun ti lo won ni e ni gbati emi gan sorry tinu ninu aye ara mi ti Olorun lo won lati fa mi soke. When you don't if you don't have that blessedness you cannot raise children. To ba ni de agbe ka bukun ta so yi o le to mo. You cannot raise them. O le to awon mo. Instead you be killing them. Dipo re wa ma pa won ni. Big 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 big. Na ko ma pa won ni. And you say bad things about them. Wa so o buburu ni pa won. It be very very difficult to bring them up. Yo le lati to won soke. When you see people that have mission, ministry. Ni ba to ba ri awon ti won ni ise ran ise. Without even begging you, you begin to pray for them. La la ite e be o. Wa be si ni gbadura fun won. It is because that life is in you. It will be ye yen be ninu re. Sister you are blessed. Ah, ara be ni you are blessed. When you pray about good things, when people are building their house, you have enthusiasm to build with them. It is not when you have your own money that you are blessed. It is when you have good good mind towards people that are succeeding that you are blessed. But when you have your own money that you are blessed, it is when you have good good mind towards people that are succeeding that when you are raising up the hand of Moses, like Aaron, and Moses uh, oh, that they lift up the hand of Moses in Exodus chapter 17. Exodus chapter 17. If the hands goes down, there will be a problem. They didn't talk about that their own pastor is weak. What their own focus is how to strengthen their pastor. They are because they are blessed. You see, the one that is not blessed. Me, maybe pastor like just one shebai. Oh, I don't even know how pastor so and so is doing. That's the only thing you'll be hearing from them. Any contribution being can you say He won't have contribution about how we will change positively. Whether you pray for that person, or whether you go and advise that person. He will prefer backbiting behind. Such person does not have life. Not to even mention growing. Let's rise up on our feet to pray. Tell God today that God, please make me blessed. That's what you pray. Ah, the minister of God is still coming to pray for us. So, so now pray with all zeal. Oh, that God. I don't want to be without your life. I want to to I want to Listen to me. Those that have done the thing that I'm saying. Even if they lead, depart from this earth physically, their impact does not end. That means they, 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 see, they live on. They live on. That's why we still sing as touching certain people till now. Till today, we still sing about oh, them. Wow. God! Make me a blessing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I don't want to be without your life. I don't want to be without your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't say bless by the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't say bless.